by good evening i hope you're all having a great night so far are you guys ready for another bible bedtime story i sure am why don't we get started we're reading in our beginner's bible in the old testament the book of first samuel chapters 15 verses 1 through 16 and chapter 13 chapter 13 something like that and it's called a good heart get some nice and cozy and let's read our story Saul was a good king for about 20 years then he began to disobey God God was sorry he made Saul the king Samuel was sad about it too God sent Samuel to a man named Jesse to find a new king. When Samuel met Jesse, he said, I would like to meet your son. This is Samuel asking Jesse to meet his son. When Samuel saw them, he thought, these are strong looking men. God said, I do not look at the outside of a person. I look at the inside of a person. I look at the heart. I hope all of you do that too. Samuel asked Jesse, do you have another son? Jesse said, yes, his name is David. He is out in the field with the sheep. Samuel asked to see him. So he's a shepherd and he's out with the sheep and that's his heart. As soon as David arrived, God told Samuel, he is the one I want to be the next king. Samuel then anointed David. He poured oil on David's head and David was filled with God's power. That would have been really cool, right? To be able to be anointed and have God's power. That was probably a really difficult choice for God to make, to be able to choose from possibly hundreds of people, then bring it down to just one. And he found the one that he wanted to become king. Well, that was a nice story. And he chose him by his heart and not by his looks and by how he was on the outside. Because somebody can be a good king without being super strong. Although, strong enough for muscles, being a big strong person, it's always fun. So now, let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and say a nice prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for our story. And please let everyone be safe. Keep everybody healthy. And help those who aren't. Amen. Sleep well, guys, and I can't wait to see you at the next Bible bedtime story. See you in the next one.